What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is Sunday and yeah, right now it's about like 9 in the morning so it's kind of cool so I just thought maybe I'd do a little quick video an update about my 5th gen Celica. I know it has been a while that I did an update video because of COVID-19. It's been a challenge for me to uh, find parts and all and a lot of time I went to the junkyard and the parts that I needed is not there and there are a few parts that uh, needed to be fixed like the, uh, the power steering uh, that's leaking the uh, passenger side axle boots all torn out and yeah, i did got those fixed um the power steering turned out that it was the uh, power steering pumps that was leaking so i had that change and also the uh, passenger side axle i had that change as well it's just basic replacement so i didn't do any video on that but i did got those changed and uh, the car drives amazing right now what i really need is that driver side passenger fender and man it has me a really challenge to uh, find that part i found a few gts that you know they had the fender but it was too far away like down in bakerfield or los angeles and it's just too far off a drive to go down there a month ago i went to a junkyard piggy pool in rockland california and i saw this gts it's a 91 gts online it has been sitting there for like one day and everything was there and the fender was good everything was good i was hoping that you know when I got there, their driver's side fender is still there. But when I got there, whoever got there first, they took the whole front end. They didn't leave anything. So, man, you know, it's worth the drive. But unfortunately, I was a little bit too late. So I didn't get the fender. So before going to the pick and pull in Rockland, I was really excited and hoping that the fender was still there. And I took off the fender prior before going to the pick and pull down in Rockland. You know, but when I got there, the fender wasn't there. So right now my car is, is just fenderless on the driver's side. And, you know, the car has just been sitting because it's just really hard to find the parts that I needed. Here is a little video that I took while I was at the junkyard. It shows um, how the uh, fifth gen Celica, the junkyard, was completely stripped out from the front end. They took pretty much all the front end. All right guys, so this is very unfortunate. I saw this here around like two or three days ago. And I got here and everything I need is gone. What I really need is this fender right here and it's not there anymore. I guess somebody got to it before I, I did. Man, that sucks. I drove about an hour to get here. And I was really hoping that it's here, but oh man. I guess you snooze, you lose. The uh, next repair on my fifth gen is probably uh, doing a clutch replacement because a month ago I took the car for a test drive around my neighborhood. When I was on third gear, I was pushing it a little bit and then the clutch started to slip. So um, the, uh, the the previous uh, owner does say that the time that he owned the Celica, he had never changed the clutch and he and he don't know how long it has been so maybe it is time to change it um the clothes was slipping i had it sat overnight and then drove it the next day and it feels fine again but it's just best to have it changed you know to get that peace of mind knowing that the clothes has been changed oh yeah and the shocks is completely out too i need to get that replaced now who doesn't like pop on headlights this is so cool so classic and one of my other plans was to uh, buy new coilovers for my 6th gen Celica and replace these struts on my 5th gen with the 6th gen struts in lower spring because these struts here is completely out. It drives horrible on bumpy road. You can hear like, you know, clunky noise and all that. But so far the engine works, you know, everything drives pretty nice except the shocks. So the ride quality is pretty bad. But other than that, the car is good. And uh, hoping to get that clutch replacement soon. Maybe in a few weeks. I need to uh, purchase the parts. And uh, I don't have much time. So maybe I'll have one of my cousins in town uh, replace the clutch for me. It is cheaper. He, he, he charged for labor. But it is cheaper than taking it to a shop. So you buy the parts and have him replace it. So you only charge labor. So I had the uh, common fiber trim removed because it would be much easier to uh, put the fender back in without having to remove the whole common fiber trim again. So that's why I had to remove. 
um, like this for now until I find a new vendor. All right, so that's it for my video. Like I mentioned before, this is a slow project and with COVID-19 going on, this project's gonna be more slower than I expected. But thanks guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.